We are in Hangzhou, China. We're here for the Red Bull uh, Q Tang Silver Dragon shootout. The Taj called me. He's like, "Do you want to go to China?" I said, "Yeah." And I started to think about, like, what am I, what am I getting myself into? When I first came to Hangzhou, I was kind of scared and intimidated, man, because you look out the window and there's like just buildings to the horizon. It's everything huge, you know. We come from a very small country with with small buildings, and you come here and it's these huge buildings and Lots of people. <laughs> it's one of those cities that I'd never heard of until I got invited to this thing. And then you show up here and it's like seven times bigger than LA. It's like God got his building blocks and started putting it all together here in Hangzhou because there's buildings everywhere. You just basically feel like a grain of sand on the beach. Like it's, it's kind of scary to go outside. Like you're going to get lost and no one speaks English. We were invited to, to this event, which is, it's, it's a contest between different countries, but it's more like a, it feels more like a celebration. And the whole purpose of this is to surf the tide of war. Uh, it's the most amazing natural phenomenon I've ever seen. It's a really unique wave, you know, there's not many waves like that in the world. A giant high tide will just push up the river and basically it's so fast and so sudden and it gets funneled in because the river goes like this that it actually makes a wave and it crests. It's like one mass of water that changes uh, 
the, the, the shape of the wave, no? It goes, it goes left and it goes right and you have, to, you have to be hunting for the wave. It's something very special. And then that wave will continue down the river I don't know how many miles, but it's about an hour and a half long that the wave breaks. Every time I see it, it's just, it's, it's, you know, it's surreal. It's a phenomenon for us, you know, as a surfer to be able to ride a wave uh, in the city. That's, that's, you know, that's something that you never experienced. You think you prepared for it, but it's, it's scary when you see it. Just big wall of water. It looks heavy, man. It's like, it's kind of intimidating, you know, and you know, I've surfed all kinds of big waves. And you've never experienced anything like it in your life. I was super scared, you know? At the same time, you're super stoked because you want to surf it. As you're on the wave, you'll do like one turn, two turn, and then you think you're fine. The third turn, you're like, oh my God, I cannot feel my thighs right now. It's like you're on a treadmill but you're going nowhere but you're getting tired really tired really fast you know you do one of these on the wave you're like taking a breather dude like it's it's really it's really taxing as a surfer you, you you finish your wave when the wave is finished but here it doesn't finish and you're like what do i do? you kind of don't know what to do you just like you you watching the wave it's still running you're like i can keep going further and surfers don't know when to finish like we're just not really good at that you know we finish when the wave's finished there's there's moments that are epic like and that's what, as surfers, we search for. This wave, I cannot compare it to anything. It's uncomparable. It's literally its own unique, like, little, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's unique, literally unique in its own sense. Today is the first day of qualifying for the Red Bull Chiantang shootout. Team Spain, Team Huntington Beach USA, and Team China will go out and try and put together the best score that they can to go into the qualifying round. Scores are calculated by the judges' total of the three best waves of each team. The average of those scores gives you the total that will be posted on the total board up there. And the goal is tomorrow, in the qualifying day number two, those three teams have to beat these scores. Today's score for China was 8.75. The number two score today was Louvre, Spain, with 15.55. And the top score today, which was probably one of the scores that has to get beaten tomorrow, was for Huntington Beach, California, 19.9.
we just need to surf good and pick good waves and you know I think the rest of it everything will just happen natural. If we each get two good waves we can hang our hat on that and it's up to the judges okay. at that point. Yeah. There's kind of a lot of going on you know there's a lot of different scenarios that can go down you know it's like do we want the first wave do we want the second wave how are we gonna approach this I mean we got a million ideas of what we want to do and yeah. you know we know how to surf and, and know how to execute the waves but you know the cool thing about you know surfing the Silver Dragon is that it, it could change at any given moment and every day it's different and that's what I love about the event. Win it! Win it! Preliminary day. Qualifying day. So, this is to qualify for the finals and you get to surf the river again. So we really, really don't want to blow it. Onshore to straight offshore at 30 mile an hour. My legs are really sore. There's a couple waves here that I got on the ski and I had like a side man for like 30 minutes. Like, no, like you a, go. I caught a wave you for go. like three miles. <laughs> it was very windy at the start and then the waves got very good. So before I announce the scores today, uh, the teams yesterday, the score to beat was 19.9. Today's scores in third with 5.25, Team Brazil. In second place today with a score of 22.75 going to tomorrow's finals, Team Australia. And so the score of the day to the defending champions, Team Hawaii with 25.25. Thank you everybody for watching and we will see you tomorrow for the finals of the 2016 Red Bull Chiantong Shootout. Yeah, yeah. Finals day and we have possibly the greatest final ever with two strong teams from Hawaii and Australia. Of course every year it seems to come down to the Hawaiians and Australians and we have the team who two previous champions, uh, Jamie O'Brien and Shane Magnuson up against the Aussies. Dean Morrison, who's been in the finals twice, and Kobe Abberton, his new teammate. And so we expect an incredible duel today to see who will be the champion of the river in 2016.
closest heat in, since we've been doing this in the uh, professional era. We had uh, a second place score of 23. And that team was the Hawaiians. <laughs> the Australians scored 24.83 to be the champion for 2004. Go, Bijou. <laughs>